Hello. So here I am again. Wanted to do a, um, I think I always start my videos like that. Wanted to do a haul. Um, this is kind of a collective haul and I'm going to call it my uh, welcome back to fall haul. That wasn't planned. Anyway, um, a few things. I didn't get a lot of stuff, but I kind of get things before fall because it's cheaper obviously and things that I just kind of need to have you know like you don't actually need to have it but you need to have it you guys know what I mean anyway so I'm gonna get right into it there's only maybe about six things but mostly bags uh, not really anyway um, excuse me for a sec I'm on my yoga ball so if you hear squeaking that's what that is so I went into Target and I saw it. I can't even remember how much this was, but I saw it and had to have it because it has leather sleeves. Well, it's not real leather, but looks leather, doesn't it? And it's like a moto jacket. I don't know if you can see it because it is, oh yeah, you guys can see it. So it's like a crossover zip up moto jacket. It's by Pure Energy. This is in the size X. So it's like uh, not one X, but XL. And right now, it doesn't fit me very good, but it will, and it's beautiful. I love it. It's a shorty jacket, and it's great. It's knit. It is stretchy, but, you know, I don't want to wear my stuff too tight. Anyway, that little jacket, it was on sale. I think it was probably no more than $20 max. So that was that. That was Target. I went into... This is crazy. I went, but I love it. I went into, um, what was it? Um, TJ Maxx, for sure. And I am a huge fan of Mongolian lamb fur. And this, I had to get it. <laughs> it's not real, it's not real lamb. What? It looked like part of the lamb was still attached. But it was not real lamb, I promise you. And... It looks like this. It's just a big, you know, oh my gosh, I just love this thing so much. And it's made by Joe Fresh. You can see on the little orange tag. And it's beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. I don't know if you guys can see it, but obviously it's not real. It's not real Mongolian lamb, but it's beautiful and I can't wait to wear it. You guys, oh. It's totally me, and I love it so much. I wish that I could have found different colors. I would have loved to have gotten pink, red, whatever. But I was happy. I paid $9 for this, and it's huge. It's like, you know, the length of an actual scarf. There's that piece. It looks like it's, yeah, there we go. Anyway, it's beautiful. I love it. Check your TJ Maxx, guys, seriously. God, I love that store. Love it. No, I'm not sponsored. They want to sponsor me they can um, email me um so i ended up getting a bathing suit honestly i can't even remember where i got it but i'm going to show it to you i don't really show bathing suits i'm kind of still plus size but it's so pretty color wise that it's a one piece as you can see and it's kind of like that drapey thing in the front it's kind of hard to show bathing suits isn't it but i more more than anything wanted to show you the color because wow, I'm totally into this pink color. Anything this color pink, I need a blouse or a tunic this color. It's just the most, it's my favorite color, this pink. So I got this and I'm gonna be spending some time swimming with the kids this fall at the pool and I figured I better have something cute to take people's thoughts away from the body that's under it. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, that'll be showing. <laughs> Anyway, that, so, so far some cute things, right? I got this bag a while back only because I saw it, I think I got it at Ross. Oh, let's see. Every, it seems like so many bags that I get from Ross, if they have any damage at all, it's always on the strap. So I have to fix that. I just realized that the strap is kind of coming off. So I'll fix it, no big deal. Hopefully. Anyway, it looks like Rebecca Minkoff, doesn't it? <laughs> I think I paid $7.99, so, well, broken strap, whatever. 
um, yeah, they're pretty easy to fix. I've gotten a few broken bags from Ross that are super, super cheap, and I just fix them. It's very easy if you can sew leather. And it's just like a darning needle, and away you go. Anyway, really super cute. You can wear with anything, kind of a, you know, little studded feet on the bottom. And looks like Rebecca Minkle. And I didn't want to spend $300 for a Rebecca bag. Um, the next bag, of course, another bag. It's also from Ross. This one is like a copy of, I don't know what bag, um, or what designer rather, but I know it's like totally a copy. Um, so it looks like this. It's big. It's a tote. And it's got the really heavy, heavy chain straps. And then it's got the, you know, crossbody or shoulder strap like that. And then when you wear it on the shoulder, it looks like this. I'm sorry guys, you can't really see very good, but it looks like this. And it's got the, you know, braiding part here. This one I think was like $20. So when it's carried on your shoulder, and I'm sorry I can't show you properly, but oh my God, it's beautiful once again. So you might see me using that in an outfit of the day or something. Um, I don't know, I don't really use those or do those videos. So the next one shocked me because <laughs> I saw a video, Lisa, uh, of Lisa Lisa D1. Sorry, I keep playing with my sweater, but that's the way it's supposed to go. It's like off that shoulder. It's supposed to look kind of sexy. And it's not unless it's off that shoulder. So anyway, um, I saw Lisa bought a bag. And I think it was either Balenciaga, Balenciaga, however you say that Spanish bag uh, name, uh, or I'm not sure. It was either that or Prada. I don't know. I think it's Balenciaga. Balenciaga. I'm butchering it. But anyway, I saw this in Ross. These are the handles. It's like braided with gold. It's supposed to be leather, but it's not leather. It's obviously. I think it cost me $21. And this is the bag. It's all fringe uh, under the fake leather, of course, or over the fake leather. And it's both sides both sides yeah mm -hmm. pretty fierce I would say and then it's got the strap that you can use for you know and then it'll look like this just like that if you use a strap or you can do it cross body too the strap is quite long and you can do a cross body so this was my uh, favorite piece this one and the scarf and it's very kind of boho um, just very rocker kind of I hate the world naming rocker chick but you know don't want to be a rocker chick but it's very boho kind of uh, Rachel Zoe kind of thing and I love it it just reminds me you know Lady Gaga yes I do like Lady Gaga I think she's a fantastic little Italian girl anyway beautiful beautiful bag so I got all of those bags from Ross, all of them, and they do totally mimic um, designer bags. I just am not sure which exactly they are. I think it's Balenciaga, the last fringe one, like Lisa's. I'd have to go back and check, so I probably would do that. So the last thing I got was, of course, I, it was one of those things that you walk by and it's like product packaging. It just catches your eye and you just kind of have to have it. But this one, of course, is a pair of shoes. And I was surprised that these were quite comfortable. They're not super high. They look like this. These are, oh, squeak, squeak. They're patent, uh, sorry, hold on. They're patent leather. I don't even know if they're leather. Anyway, they say they're a size 10, but I'm like a nine and a half. But they're slung back with a buckle so I can wear them. And they are this hot, hot pink that I'm really into God, so gross hair hanging off of it anyway it's an open toe and it looks like this and it's a sling back and I love sling backs but normally I can't wear them because they're so darn high but these I can wear so I'm happy with these and these were $20 at Nordstrom Rack and they're Enzo Angiolini and like I said, there's, they say they're a size 10. 
but they're beautiful. They're a beautiful, beautiful shoe. Can't wait to wear them. Um, I, you know, I have all these ideas for fall fashion because that's one thing I like about the fall. It's not a lot of rain and I can wear jackets and leather and all that stuff. So I'm trying to get my weight that I gained back off real quick so I can start wearing all this stuff that I have because I'm a big fan of black and black with fringe and fur and leather and oh seriously it just gives me a headache thinking about it but I just got so many so many options in fall <laughs> I will be back so um Glad you guys watched. If you enjoyed the video and you'd like more of these types of videos, which would be few and far between because I don't do that much hauling, um, meaning I don't do that much shopping. This is kind of a collective haul. Uh, I wish I could do more shopping, but I don't. Um, I kind of like to save my money and go buy major quality that costs a little more rather than quantity, but these pieces just had to be had, you know. It's those things, those little things that you know aren't going to last forever, but it doesn't matter because they were like 10 or $20. Yeah. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe and go watch my other videos. I mean it. Do it now. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. The sun's starting to come out and it's still nice and cool, so I'm still nice and happy. Anyway, guys, talk to you soon. Bye.